Kagame was born on 23rd October 1957, the youngest of six children in Tambwe, Rwanda, Urundi, a village located in what is now the southern province of Rwanda. His father, Deogratius, was a member of the Tus ethnic group from which the royal family had been derived since the 18th century or earlier. The Gracious had family ties to King Mutara III, but he pursued an independent business career rather than maintain a close connection to the royal court. Kagame's mother, Asteria Rutagambwa, descended from the family of the last Rwandan queen, Rosary Gikanda. At the time of Kagame's birth, Rwanda was a United Nations Trust territory. Long-time colonial power, Belgium still ruled the territory, but with a mandate to oversee independence. Rwandans were made up of three distinct groups. The minority Tusi were the traditional ruling class, and the Belgian colonialists had long prompted Tusi supremacy, whilst the majority Hutu were agriculturists. The third group, the Twa, were a forest dwelling pygmy people descended from Rwanda's earliest inhabitants who formed less than 1% of the population. Tensions between Tusi and Hutu had been escalating during the 1950s and culminated in the 1959 Rwanda Revolution. Hutu activists began killing Tusi, forcing more than 100,000 Tusi to seek refuge in neighboring countries. Zura Karuhimbi later claimed that in 1959 she had saved the life of Kagame by tying beads from her necklace into his hair so that he could pass as a girl and escape execution by the Hutus. Kagame's family abandoned their home and lived for two years in the far northeast of Rwanda and eventually crossing the border into Uganda. They moved gradually north and settled in the Nshungerezi refugee camp in the Toro sub-region in 1962. It was around this time that, as young boys, Kagame and his future comrade, Fred Rijema, first met one another. Kagame began his primary education in a school near the refugee camp where he and other Rwandan refugees learned how to speak English and began to integrate into Ugandan culture. At the age of nine, he moved to the respected Rwengoro Primary School around 16 kilometers or 10 miles away graduating with the best grades in the district. He subsequently attended Ntare School, one of the best schools in Uganda. It is also the alma mater of future Ugandan President Yoweri Seven. The death of Kagame's father in the early 1970s and the departure of Rijema to an unknown location led to the decline in his academic performance and an increased tendency to fight those who belittled the Rwandan population. He was eventually suspended from Tale and completed his studies without distinction at Old Kampara Secondary School. After completing his education, Kagame made two visits to Rwanda in 1977 and 1978. He was initially hosted by family members of his former classmates, but upon arrival in Kigari, he made contact with members of his own family. He kept a low profile on these visits, 
believing that his status as a well-connected to exile could lead to arrest. On his second visit, he entered the country through Zaire rather than Uganda to avoid suspicion. Kagame used his time in Rwanda to explore the country, familiarize himself with the political and social situation, and make connections that would prove useful to him in his later activities.